welcome to Biotrack Sailing. I mentioned on our last video that Pierre had an injury and he was one arm down. So here's what happened. It was just one of those silly things that happened when he was playing with Tiller. It was at night and he was chasing her around the boat. And we'd had some workers on the boat. But Pierre's usually really careful to keep all the cords uh, exactly in the right place so there's no tripping hazards on the boat. But we'd had some workers on the boat and the power cord had been placed over the hatch rather than a lot running along the lip where you wouldn't trip. So there was a little gap there. And uh, he tripped on the cord, but unfortunately his arm went on the wrong side of the Dynamo lifeline as he fell down, which pulled his shoulder out and he dislocated his shoulder. Thankfully, um, a friend of ours across the dock, selling vessel of the loop, came over and helped, and we got him to the hospital. But unfortunately, he has a bit of a brachial plexus injury also from the dislocation, which means that the nerve fibers that run in his arm have been damaged, and we just have to wait and see while they um, do their thing to recover. So our trip south might be a little delayed. And we, we were planning to do a trip south, directly from Boston, so to stage in Nantucket and position to go directly to Antigua from Nantucket. It was going to take about six days. So we're doing that with the Salty Dog Rally. This is a rally that's going from the East Coast to Antigua. And they've been fantastic at just uh, organizing everything in these days of COVID and trying to um, facilitate uh, sailing to the Caribbean with uh, a fairly large fleet this year. The rally is poised to depart around the 2nd of November, and the boats are going to go into quarantine with their crew at the end of October to make sure that everybody's safe on board. Some YouTube viewers have asked about our confusing status, because we have a Canadian registered boat, but we live in Boston. So we're both Canadian citizens, so we can have a Canadian registered boat. And I'm also American, and we've lived in Boston for the last eight years for business. So being in Boston all summer has been really terrific to wrap up loose ends to allow us to go to more remote areas of the world, which is, would have been our plan. Obviously, with COVID, we had to change our plans. We didn't go through the Panama Canal as planned. We're assessing whether we uh, leave later in the season or if we just stay in Boston this season. But in any case, I continue to make videos, and I have lots of footage from all the work we did this summer. And I'm going to keep this channel as interesting as possible for all the viewers, and I do appreciate your comments. This is Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. And on this Thanksgiving weekend, we're thankful for many things. We're thankful for this wonderful lifestyle on, the, on BioTrack. Uh, we're thankful that we stay safe in bad weather, even though it seems like uh, storms are increasing in frequency and intensity with global warming. We've stayed safe from COVID, and we're thankful for all the frontline workers who put their lives in line, on the line to go to work every day in the hospitals. And as a last thanks on this Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, we thank all our viewers. I've had um, just an overwhelming experience starting a YouTube station. People are so nice, uh, really nice comments. I read all the comments. Um, and. If anyone's interested in crewing, we just might need crew this season. So uh, drop us a line. There's um, a contact on our website, which is www.biotrek-sailing.com. So I hope you enjoyed this video, which is going to be about our trip to Cape Cod with our niece Chris. This trip was in early September, and we left Boston in the morning, and we arrived in Provincetown, or P-Town as the locals call it, uh, by the afternoon and spent the afternoon looking at the little boutiques and then we left P-Town early, very early at sunrise the next morning.
We were in Kingman Marina for a few days getting some minor cracks and gel coat repaired because the boat is still under warranty. Life in the time of coronavirus. Or how do you like being on Biotrack? Biotrack is quite nice. Very smooth. Unless you're heading into the waves. But otherwise, it's uh, quite a pleasant ride. And what about the dog? Oh, the dog's great. I'm completely ruining her by spoiling her endlessly. She really likes the bean bag. <laughs> the new ice maker. They take, turn it on and you have ice in six minutes. Note to Chrissy, you did spoil Tiller and she'll sneak up in the bean bag at night if we leave it in the galley. Merci beaucoup, Papa Miguel. We appreciate you. And thanks, Chrissy, for picking up the camera sometimes. This is how I edit. I, when we're in the harbor, I see amazing things from my view. I see people coming in in raincoats. I see the gas carrier with all the police and helicopters. Um, when we're in Boston, it's amazing. I just love my window in front of my computer.
After we got home, Pierre dove to look at the props because with those large waves, we'd hit a lobster pot. This is what I removed. And now I'm going to start the engine. Let's see that if it's running properly or if one of the blades was bent. So in sailing, one needs to be flexible in your plans, whether it's because of weather, a pandemic, or an injury. And uh, so right now we're assessing plans and I'll keep you posted. If you like this channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and there'll be lots of sailing content to come.